All right, welcome to another episode of Inspiring Youth. I'm your host, Bruce Outridge, and today we are going to talk about music, classical music, the symphony, the Oakville Symphony, all of these things we're going to talk about, how you can get involved. We have Lindsay Tran with us today. How are you doing, Lindsay? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So so what instrument do you play? Tell us what you're playing. Um, I play the violin, and I've been playing the violin since I was about four years old. Okay, okay, great. And so, so what inspired you to get into classical music? Because I know when I was a kid, rock and roll is, we already had a show on that, so, so, so what, what, what got you into classical music? Well, like, as I said, I started when I was four, so I wasn't really aware that I was doing classical music, <laughs> oh, or that there were, like, different styles. They didn't fill styles. you in on the whole details, right? Yeah, like, I didn't really know that there were different styles at the time, yeah. so it's sort of just, like, what I've been taught, what I've grown up with, and I sort of just stuck with it. Okay, okay, and, and you've been, um, you've been with the, the Oakville Symphony for how long? Uh, I was playing with them for two years. Okay. Now you've been with them for a few years, but how long have you, uh, how, how long, how, how did you get involved with in them? Um, well, before I was started with like some local youth orchestras, so I was playing with the Halt and Mississauga Youth Orchestra. And from there, like a lot of my older friends were like joining the Oakville Symphony Orchestra on like this Young Artist Award. Right. And it's sort of been like one of those goals that you want to like strive for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like, about two years ago, my violin teacher was like, I think you're ready to yeah. audition for that. How many hours do you spend a week practicing the violin? Um, to my violin teacher, one hour per day. Oh, in case, case the uh, violin teacher's watching, it's one hour per day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, honestly, I've been like really busy, so I just try to practice like whenever I can. So like in between like school and like, all my other stuff, I try to practice as much as I can. Do you, do you have other friends that play violin or classical yeah. music? Um, I have like a few friends in the Oakville Symphony that are also like on the Young Artist Award. Okay. Um, they play like cello, viola, violin as well. So you guys get together just like my friends did in the basement and we just jam. Do you jam? Do, do, do they do classical music jamming? Um, like, <laughs> you don't not really. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like classical music is more like structured, right? So. Yeah. You sort of just follow the music. We like do some chamber work, okay. like the four of us, but no jam sessions <laughs> like rock and roll. So, so, so is there is there uh, musicians uh, that have gone ahead of you that are, who are some of your favorites or the ones that have inspired you through the path? Um, I really like Hilary Hahn, who's a violinist. Okay. Um, my violin teacher is actually really good. Yeah. Her name's Bethany. Okay. Um, I don't know, like. I don't really follow. You don't know? I don't know. That's okay. I listen to them. Though. Yeah, yeah. And you play in concerts with the symphony. I imagine you guys have a whole concert program that you play. Yeah. So like for the young artist or you're um, allowed to play like all the concerts with them. So like the Christmas concert, like Halloween. Um, there's like a few spring concerts as well. Okay. One of the things that I have. Um, I'm always amazed at is for any singer, songwriter, musician, all the songs they have to remember. How do you remember <laughs> all of those songs? Like, like if you're playing a Christmas concert, do they give you a, a set list uh, with all the songs so that you know what to practice or how? To... Uh, well, the thing with orchestra is that you're allowed to have the sheet music right in front oh, of you, so you don't oh, have to like cheating. <laughs> yeah, sort of like you don't have to memorize everything, but like obviously you can't just like sit down and be like, oh, I'm just gonna play it like for the first time and so like you have to practice it but you're allowed to have like the music in front of you so you yeah. don't have to memorize it. So then you're watching the conductor, the conductor does all that stuff with the magic oh, yeah. wand, the magic yeah. wand guy the I call baton, yeah. yeah. So so how do you how do you learn those? Do they teach you that through the symphony of you know how what when he waves his arm what to do or uh, well I learned it in like the youth orchestra and so like I started playing in orchestras when I was like ten. So with like younger people, you sort of have to like basically like spell it out. So yeah. like um, one of my previous conductors, she like taught us like what everything means when she does like this okay. or like whatever she does with her arms. So so there's a meaning to all of those yeah. uh, movements, right? Okay, that's great. So do you play other kinds of music? What, what, are you just classical or what else do you? Play? Um, in school, so like I've been playing in the concert band for like four years. I okay. go to White Oaks, right. and I play the French horn. 
in the band, and I also have done like a few musicals, so I sing a little, and like oh, wow. I do some choral stuff, so like choirs. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, do you see uh, your career going? Like, do you plan on playing? Classical music for a long time, or uh, is this maybe you don't know the answer? I'm not trying yeah, to. Like, I'm not. I'm not solidifying you to a career of music if that's not what you want to do. I, it, do you do you see doing that for a long period of time? Uh, well, this fall I'm going to University of Ottawa for science and like engineering. Yep, yep. So it's not really like a career path that I'm pursuing, but it's something it. like I want to keep in my life just for like uh, the pleasure. You know, like yeah. it's something cool to have and like be able to do. And it's not something like everyone can do. No. So it's really cool to like be able to keep it up when I'm older. I certainly can't do it. <laughs> but I, I see, you know, music. I, I believe that a lot of the arts take a full circle, okay. and so um, you know, we always think of the violins and, and classical music kind of as older style music. But you start to see them come back. I see them in country music. I see them in rock music. So I, I think it's it will still come to you, but. Uh, is there a, a lesson that it's helped um, as far as what did you learn from being part of the symphony or from playing classical music? Is there something that a lesson that has taught you over time that you didn't think you would necessarily learn? Mm, well, as I mentioned before, it's like classical music is really structured and it's sort of like formal, you know? So it's sort of given me like, it's sort of taught me like how to keep some structure in my life, I think. So um, within like school, it really helps, I think, just like um, practicing music. It takes like a lot of like coordination yeah. and like lots of focus, and I think that really helps me in school. And it also helps me in sports. I think, okay. For like nice. focusing. Do you take music in school as well, or do you yeah. only play in the symphony? I take it in school. So, you, are you better than a lot of your friends in in class because you have all this extra practice and attention outside of? Yeah, I I'd say so. Like. I don't want to say that I'm better than no. anyone. Like, uh, it's okay. You can yeah. say I said that. It's okay. <laughs> but, like, I, I definitely think I have, I can bring like more experience okay. to like, my school environment. Do you find yourself mentoring some of those younger students who are maybe just getting started? And, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. It's like cool to know that like you're able to teach people things yeah. and like mentor them in that sort of way. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So, so if somebody is is your age or younger and thinking of getting into the symphony or getting into classical music in general, what's what's something that you might tell them? What's a lesson you might tell them? Well, like, obviously, uh, there's, like, limited spots for this. So, like, if you don't get in the first time, it doesn't, it's not, like, the end of the world. Like, you should definitely try to do it, like, audition again, because you never know what's going to happen. And it's, like, a really cool experience, like, just being in that orchestra and playing, like, this advanced music is really cool. What's an audition like? Um, you go in, you have like a few pieces prepared, and they'll ask you to just play it. Um, you just play it whether you have like an accompanist or not, and then if they want you to keep going, they'll keep, like they won't stop you. But if they're like running out of time, they'll just be like, "That's not enough for now." Is it nerve wracking? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. they have like a panel of. The professional musicians and like the conductor sort of just watching you. Wow. And it's, if you think about it, it's like, wow, like four professional musicians yeah. and the conductor of the orchestra are watching you perform this one piece and that's like make or break it if you get in or not. <laughs> so so how do you how do you prepare for that? Like how do you keep yourself calm knowing that you're going into that situation and I mean to keep yourself calm, to remember whatever chords you're supposed to play, to <laughs> not drop the violin on your foot, all those kind of things that I would do, because that's the kind of person I am. But how, what's, what's maybe a tip, because there's probably somebody right now that's going into an audition and going, oh, I can't believe I'm going to be doing this next week, so what would oh, yeah. you tell them? Um, breathe. Breathe, breathe is always good, yeah. Um, my violin teacher always tells me to eat a banana before. Really? Yeah. I eat like, a banana every morning and that doesn't help me in auditions, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I think it has something to do with like calming your or yeah, something. Yeah, and yeah, I think like create a routine for yourself. Just yeah. like so you're not like panicking like right before the audition or something. How many auditions have you done do you think in your, your career? Um a few. Like um, 
probably like over 10. Wow, so you're, so you're a natural at these. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a website or anything? where If people wanted to see more of your music, where would they go to find that? Well, there's the Oakville Symphony website. Okay. So that, and I think they have like a list of all the concerts that you can buy tickets okay. to. Um,